Steps are being taken to revitalize and reopen Williamson Memorial Hospital and Tim Hatfield was recently named as CEO. It's sort of interesting. I grew up in this region. I grew up in the Tug Valley region and I actually was born in the old uh, Williamson Memorial Hospital uh, a number of years ago. And uh, at the same token, this was a great opportunity to come back home uh, and make a difference in the community I grew up in and offer uh, some access, some additional access to health care in West Virginia. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Hatfield has worked as an executive in the healthcare industry for 28 years throughout Kentucky and West Virginia. A clinic is currently open on the first floor of the hospital, but future plans include opening up outpatient care, opening up inpatient care, and opening up operating rooms. To open a hospital uh, in 2024, uh, uh, we probably are a little bit of a unicorn, which is really neat. Uh, and it's always fun to grow, it's always fun to build, and I think it's going to really this, is, this location, this hospital, this campus is going to be a springboard as folks look to move into, into the region. It's going to be an asset uh, for them to consider moving here for jobs. Hatfield is optimistic about reopening the hospital, hoping to give residents in the region access to state-of-the-art health care as well as providing more job opportunities for the area. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.